Hi there, so I'm going to <coughs> to show how to um, install Project M, which is the same as Milk Drop in Winamp on Windows, but um, how to install that for Linux and for um, Mac as well. Now, for Linux, first of all, I've got it here to demonstrate. That's using a um, music program called QMMP. And this is the, uh, so let's just put a track on. And as you can see the track, Sorry, cancel that. Gets um, gets shown on here now. If if I if I click on F two, and it shows me the uh, shows me the track I'm playing. So that's what it looks like. Um, if you want to change the uh, the preset, you just click on N, and that goes to an another one. You can also click R which will give you random presets. Now there are many, many presets, many, many patterns. Let's uh, click through here. All these types of things like that. I'm just trying different ones here. Off to they change from time to time anyway when you've got the, the thing playing. If you want to take off the name of the track, you can do that. F2. Move your cursor out of the way. So, I mean, it, for the ones of you who've used Mail Drop before on, um, on Winamp, it's not new, it's just using a different platform. There you go. Okay, F to make it small. I can al also do it um, right click here, always on top, so it doesn't go away. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show how to install that. First of all on the Mac, because it's quick, and then on uh, on this QMMP program. You can you can link it to other music programs on uh, on Linux. Apparently audacious, but I've not yet worked out how to do that. Um, you can also have it running independently, and it's meant to pick up sound from any player. But um, again, I'm not all that experienced with that. So that's the uh, kind of thing you got. Okay, so I minimized the, the player here. Leave the uh, now for Mac. First of all, you need to um, go to Project and Page. And it's all information about Project M here. Okay, uh, first thing is go to Downloads. And then if you want to, to do Mac, you have to pick iTunes here. That's the one it will work with on, on Mac. Okay, so then you pick, I would try and pick the uh, the latest version, one or one two, and see depending on which version of Mac you've got, you may find it's too advanced or not advanced enough. So I installed it on 10.4 uh, Mac a few days ago, and the one I had joy with was this one here, 101. But uh, just try any of these. So just double click on, see that one here. And then you got your DMG, which will be down the bottom here. So open your DMG and then. I've got a little piece of information here for Max, which is that one. Uh, once you've got your DMG, you double click on the DMG, you copy project and bundle to library, forward slash iTunes, forward slash iTunes, plugins, and restart iTunes. Then you, you select view, visualizer, project M. Okay, and the keys are the same as they were on, on, um, on Linux and for next. P for previous, R for random, and F3 to show the preset name. So that's basically all you need to know for Mac. Uh, basically, go to first of all uh, the download page. Go back a bit. Okay, here downloads and then forward to 
the way we did it before. Okay, that's as for Mac. Very simple, very quick. Uh, you have a limited number of presets on uh, on Mac, unfortunately, not as many as you will get on uh, on Linux. Right now, for Linux, this is linked. The one I'm using here is linked to um, QMMP. So let's show you how to do that. First of all, you need to install QMMP. So you go to QMMP here. I just make turn my music off. Uh, go to QMMP, right, and you pick downloads. Pick your your distro here. Mine is um, Ubuntu, so I use this one. You have the unofficial packages because you've got the latest versions. Okay, so um, the usual way you install this kind of thing, the key, the uh, add these to your software sources, and then you go sudo apt uh, get update, and then you do sudo apt get install QMMP. So then you've got um, one of the, the most recent versions, which is 4.3, uh, the uh, the version for uh, Maverick, the latest one is 04.3, but as I say, just find your distro and install that. Once you've got that installed, it will be picked up by QMMP. Now, um, I show you the Synaptic on the uh, Ubuntu. That's you need to have all of these installed to, to have that going. You have Project M Pass Audio, the Lib Visual as well. You need to have the debugging. You need to have Q Qt1 as well. And this is important, QMMP plugin project, and of course that's crucial, you need to have that there. Of course you need to have uh, QMMP uh, program installed, and those two as well. So just have a look at that, I'll leave that on the screen for a second so you can freeze it and make sure you've got all of this ticked in. You don't need Jack, of course, for that. Right, so that's what you need for the... Uh, now once you've got that done, minimize that, go back to your and then your visualization will be there. So if you look at settings, uh, plugins, and then you go down to visualization, you'll see your project M will be there with the project M dot so. Okay, and then you can basically use it. I know it can be used as well with Audacious. I've not yet managed to work it out. Some people might be able to tell us how to do that. Um, Okay, I'll just just to finish, I'll give you a bit more uh, demonstration of the kind of tricks it does. There you go. You got that. All these kind of different things. It basically makes your your desktop a lot more interesting to look at. And some of these. Okay, so good luck with that. Enjoy it.